G'day Gun Nuts, welcome back. Um, so today I'm just going to be running through a short video on how to get the actual velocity of your ammunition without using a chronograph. Um, so I'll be using the app Strelock and it's the plus version of that app. So it is a paid part of the app but I think you'll see by the time we finish that um, it's well worth paying for this particular feature in the app um, and getting the plus version. Um, you don't need to go as high as the pro version for 1995 um, but yeah the plus version gives you the trajectory validation which is basically giving you your velocity of your ammo um, correctly. As opposed to the factory speeds of the ammo which are printed on the boxes, um, those are obtained under test conditions, so perfect conditions out of test rifles with 24 inch plus barrels, um, so tend to be quite a bit higher than what you or I will get out of our barrels shooting on the range um, or out of normal conditions. So, if you're wanting to be able to create a dope chart, um, use a ballistic calculator to you know, figure out how many clicks you're going to be adjusting a scope uh, for a particular range, or just trying to get um, your, your bullet drop over particular ranges, then you need to know how fast your bullet's travelling. Um, and as I've stated before, Movie Land has got some people believing that um, shooting's just a case of chucking the crosshairs on something and your bullet keeps in a straight line like a laser for couple of Ks but unfortunately um, once you start shooting you realize that gravity comes into play and starts acting on your bullet straight away and um, therefore you're generally shooting anywhere on a ballistic curve and lobbing your bullet to um, its target out at longer ranges. So in order to do that you need to know accurately how fast it's going and this little process will show you. So this is zeroing the Marlin on a pretty mint day for it and I'm swiftly running out of daylight so I'm under a, the gun a little bit, no pun intended. So first group was only just on the paper and luckily one nicked up here to point me in the right direction around the ones on top. But um, yeah, so I've calculated down from them, got to here and that looks like a nice sub MOA group for my next three shots. Readjust it again, and these two happened down here. So I adjusted a little bit far, and then um, adjusted up again, and these three shots are sort of centered around the ball, which is me getting a bit rushed, but I'm happy that that's um, focused on the bullseye. These two shots over here are then me screwing on the suppressor, um, just to see what sort of impact that's gonna have on the velocity, and it seems to have dropped it quite a bit, so the bullets are falling quite a bit lower. And now I'll just trundle out, drop this target over at 200 yards over there, head up to the 200 yard hill, and uh, fire off a round of five so I can measure the drop at 200 yards and get the velocity from that using Strelock. Okay, so this is a dirty old target from um, some of our old velocity testing. Um, this was a mate of mine shooting his ticker T3, uh, putting some Gecko 105 grain soft point through it. Um, we had zeroed her really nicely for 100 yards and so dropped out and popped four through. He was really happy with the grouping um, for 200 yards, that's it's definitely sub in my way. So we go through and measure the height from Craig's point of aim which was up here um, bang on the zero. This is how far the bullets have dropped over that 200 yard range. Um, so measuring them out, these inches are um, the little demarcations here that you can see are sixteenths of inches, so each inch is broken down into a sixteenth. Um, and that one's four. Obviously four's um, quite a low number of shots to average out. Uh, we were coming near the end of the box, so that's why we did that on this occasion, but ideally you'd want to get out to 10 and probably a minimum of 5, but a, a good group of 10 will give you a good average over those shots and you'll get a, a better idea of um, what range those shots are falling in and get a more accurate average. 